Hello Capricorn, welcome to your Samurai Tower reading for August 2021. We're going to do life, love, and career for you. And um, today is, well actually tonight is a rainy full moon in Aquarius. And we got some storm, some, um, well the heavy rains has stopped, but there might be some rumblings and uh, lightning going on. So uh, some fl you might see some flashes um, that's reflecting towards from my window. Um, I'm quite a bit running late sending out these videos, but uh, I was busy doing magic for the last two weeks. So <laughs> uh, just bear with me. I was working on charms, charms, oils. For wealth manifestation, so um, maybe later on I can share this to uh, to you guys, and uh, so I can uh, help you out in manifesting wealth uh, for yourselves. Okay, so let's do some magic together. Okay, let's start the magic going. Um, Spirit, give me three cards for each category: past, present, future. For life, love, and career, for the sun, the sign of the collective sign of Capricorn. Okay, so um, if you see some smoke, I'm actually cleansing my place um, with the uh, manifestation incense, wealth incense that I create. You'd love that, Capricorn, would you? Some magic when it comes to money. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need to create some more, but it takes a lot of energy. Um, actually, I'm low on chi energy because I, I used a lot uh, creating these charms and incenses. Um, so it takes a lot of energy to produce uh, these magical stuff. So there. Okay, so I had to recover for about a week. Okay, main energy. Ooh, death card. Wow. So some big changes happen in August, Capricorn. So death is the inevitable. Okay. So you might be dealing with a Scorpio in August. Okay. Uh-huh. And you have a chariot. Ah, moving victoriously, huh? Okay, so you're hopping into the success wagon, the success mobile. Okay, next card. Oh, Ten of Swords. <laughs> what happened to the success? So there's some major, major ending going on. Um, so I guess... Um, the Scorpio card ran over this king, and now he's got Ten of Swords. Okay, Ten of Swords is some sort of difficult situation that's ending. And you may be the one, uh, as far as I can tell here with what the cards are saying, you may be the one initiating the ending, Capricorn. You're pushing the end of this cycle. Okay, next you have the Empress. So after everything is said and done, you're going to come out of this situation beautifully. Abundant. Okay, having, after this difficult situation in your life, you, you came out as the winner. Okay. So you were the vehicle for success. And um, you being a Capricorn, um, which is a sign of uh, great endurance in, in times of strife. So um, you rode this... You rode this chariot to success. And... You're just now, by the end of August, you'll be sitting and enjoying the abundance that you created for yourself, which is great. 
which is awesome. Now, let's see. Okay, so I'm seeing there were a lot of people involved in, in this situation and there were hurtful words. Um, they really did a number on you, but you came out good. You came out magically um, looking good, smelling good, feeling good. And some of you are pregnant. Okay. Some of you, not all of you. Or you're going to give birth to some new project in the future. Okay, very Venusian. You might be dealing with a Libra, a Cancer, and a Scorpio with this situation. Okay, so they might be the main players, Capricorn, um, that would help you um, get to your success. All right. Career, four of wands, happy home. Okay. There's some stability that you've established here. Oh, there's some... You have five of cups. So definitely some regrets and disappointments. You're still uh, in the middle of August. You might be um, stirring up some emotions, remembering all of the difficulties that you've encountered. Um, five of cups is also a Scorpio card. So... Um, Definitely, but there's a two of cups behind you, so uh, there's hope. Uh, the important thing is that you are um, just watch out in August, in the middle of August, because there might be something that comes up. Um, and then you have the Seven of Pentacles. So you're taking a look at your finances and where it's going and what we have so far. So definitely making plans for the future. Okay, so whatever stability you have, you're looking at the... Um, okay, so... So I'm seeing you studying your financial situation. So you might be doing business at home as well. Okay. All right, let's go to your love sector. First card is Four of Swords, having to rest and meditate, taking a break out of the love situation. Okay. Next is Eight of Swords. This is mental blockages. Okay, so that escalated quickly from Four of Swords to Eight of Swords. So I think you're overthinking the situation. Next is the Nine of Swords. <laughs> what did I say? You're overthinking the situation. Okay, so... Um, Capricorn, when it comes to your relationship, I think you need to take the reins in the mental space. Because you might get mental, you know. There's a lot of overthinking. Which is unnecessary. Let's clarify. What are these? Clarify the Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, to the Nine of Swords, please. Juggling. Okay, too much work. Your work is affecting your mental state. Four of Coins. Okay. You're holding back or... Yeah, you're holding back. Eight of Swords to the Four of Coins. But you're coming into alignment, though. What is the Nine of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. 
Okay, there's a there's an offer coming, but um, that's going to be in the latter part of August. The universe is going to give you something, um, but not not don't expect anything in August. It's going to be as silent as crickets. You'll be you'll be mostly in your head. But the nice thing about it is, bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. So, King of Pentacles is someone who's stable. So, the, this Ace of Pentacles, this could be a date, um, maybe by September, this will, will happen. But for the meantime, um, take a break from love. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about relationships. Uh, it's not good for your mental health. Okay. Okay. So, um, focus on your abundance and the stability that you've established for yourself. I think enjoying your the fruits of your labor is much better than uh, thinking about things that do not exist. <laughs> okay. So, if it hasn't manifested yet, don't overthink it. Okay. Don't put drama into your life where drama is not warranted. Okay, I'm seeing you're having sleepless nights. Rest. I think that's the best advice that I could uh, give you. Take a break from relationships. Because I'm seeing it going from 4, 8, 9 to the 10 of swords. So um, I think it's self-inflicted, Capricorn. Don't do that to yourself. It's self-inflicted. Don't kill yourself out of nothing. Because swords are just thoughts. They're not real. And they become real unless you manifest them in this world. So don't put some drama into your life, Capricorn. If your relationship is not working out at, in August, let it go. Okay, you are good enough. Okay, so some heart space needs to know that. Full moon in Virgo, you need to cherish your abundance. You're an abundant person, Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. See? Okay, so it will all be over. All of the pain and uh, suffering... But mostly, I, I'm telling you, it's self-inflicted. So don't do that to yourself. It's going to end. Okay. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Okay. So definitely some good luck coming in your way. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. So now is not the time to give up. Now is the time to buckle in and ride that chariot to victory. Okay, so by the end of the month, you'd be so abundant, you'd be very, very happy. You don't know what to do with, with, with your, your abundance. Okay, so there's an ace of pentacles. There's a new opportunity coming in with regards to relationship. But that would come in by the end of August or beginning of September. Take stock of what you have and work your magic in terms of your finances focus on that first relationship put it in the back burner not yet up says the universe okay but you got a king of pentacles coming in so which is a stable person okay my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words i need when i'm ready to speak up the compassion i need when it's time to forgive and the power i need when i Okay, so uh, place your energy where it serves you best, your coins. <laughs> okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Okay, keep growing, Capricorn. You're abundant. Aha. So some spiritual awakening 
um, is about to give birth into the situation. I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. So definitely a spiritual awakening. Definitely that's why the death card is here. It's trying to awaken you. Okay, through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Bottom of the deck. Now, let's clarify the death card. Spirit, why is the death card here? What is it showing Capricorn? What needs to end? What needs to end and what needs to move forward? The cheating needs to end. The lies needs to end. The deception needs to end. Whatever deception or lies has to be put into the light of truth. Next, star card. Okay. So, you're a star. Don't ever forget that. So, there's hope and healing that needs to occur. And uh, I think that speaks through your heart chakra that needs healing. Uh, with the situation. Last card to clarify is the Two of Wands. This is a card of expansion. So you need to move forward, truth, and um, move forward and stop all of this nonsense that's going on around you. So as far as I'm looking at it in the first uh, set of reading, you are in the chariot and you're going to administer this ending. No matter how painful it is, you'll come out as the winner. You have what it takes. Bottom of the deck is the magician. So you can magic your way through victory. Okay. All right. So um, I hope this resonates. And if it does, let's discuss in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Give us a like if you... Um, resonate with this video give us a subscribe if you're new and check us out on okami sigma uh, facebook instagram and twitter okay capricorn i hope this messages helps you and gives you hope to navigate through august i'll see you in your september 2021 reading thank you for watching good luck capricorn